Hello, folks. Oh, oh, welcome back. Oh, my voice is a little bit shot from last night. That's okay. A little bit gargly first thing in the morning. Well, even though it's a little bit late for that. So for I'm the one, the only, a hobo, Tom, and I know I've been behind everything. But you know what? In order to start off a proper show, hit my music. And I'll talk about some wrestling this year. I can probably do this without my glasses, because I just have to go, hmm? There, actually, that's not too bad. I thought it'd be a lot worse. That's okay. That's neither here nor there. I'm here to talk about some pro wrestling. And wow, did I do bad in some of my guesses, even though I missed the one match. Um, For Impact Wrestling. Again, I haven't watched Impact in a while. I've actually caught up a little bit more on NXT than, than I used to, and I have to unplug all that stuff. Wow. Tonight's going to suck. I have work, ho wrestling, hobo, unpack, and it'll be good to have my breakfast. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to be a busy person, although we'll see what I can do. Enough about my issues. Again, I'm wearing my Macho Man shirt because this is a, for the most part, WWE event. This is NXT in your house. I like to have NXT come to my house. Enough about that. Time is ticking. Seriously, so I think there's only going to be five matches. You never know. Impact added one last night. And who knows what they did. I couldn't believe they had a wonky finish for the first match. But that's okay. NXT is not like that, though. So let's get things started. Ooh, that's going to be good. Um, so there's one, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll see how we do on this one. First match, probably opening up the show, is going to be the six-man tag team match. Bronson Reed and MSK taking on Legado del Fantasma. You know, this is going to be weird because this is really a mean-nothing match. Oh, no, it is a winner-take-all match. You know what? Because it is a winner take all match, I just realized that. And I have to make this card. Wow. Bronson Reed and MSK are going to retain all their belts. I don't see them doing anything in this mat in this card really of any consequence besides kind of well there's a million dollar belt on the line. Well, I do have to make this pr fairly quick. So yeah, Bronson Reed and MSK, they're just going to retain their belts in a winner-take-all match. Then we'll have Raquel Gonzalez defending her NXT Women's Championship belt against Ember Moon. Very simply, Raquel Gonzalez is going to win. Again, no belts will probably change hands this match. And in my stone-cold lock of the night, uh, Zia Lee is going to defeat Mercedes Martinez. If you're going to have Zia Lee be the strong, all this stuff going on, she has to win. If not, it just makes her look like a dope. And that's not good because Zia Lee's amazing. Zia Lee's cute. I have Zia Lee's autograph right there on the door of wrestling too. So therefore, Zia Lee is going to win. And then for the million dollar championship. <laughs> it's going to be Cameron Grimes versus LA Knight. LA Knight would seem a better heel to chase things. And that's not, that doesn't make sense. But that's the truth. Cameron Grimes I think is actually going to win this belt. It'll, it'll make him a legitimate heir to the million dollar champion. He might even employ Ellie Knight as, as his Virgil. Or his lackey. I don't think anyone's thought of that yet. That's a great idea. Book it right here. Cameron Grimes wins the Million Dollar Championship. And wow, this is the last match. This, this was quicker than yesterday's. And I still have my list of thank yous to get to eventually. I might do that on the live stream. Just shout your name out. 
maybe Tuesday during commercials. Yeah, I could do that Tuesday during commercials. Let me make a note of that Tuesday during commercials. There we go. So this next is a fatal five-way for the NXT Championship. Terry Cross versus Kyle Riley versus Adam Cole, baby! Taking on Johnny Gargano versus Peter Dune. For the most part, they all pair off. And we would see something to the effect. Carrying Cross. Johnny Gargano is the only one that doesn't pair up, that's not really doing anything with any of these three. Although he is in a feud with Carrying Cross, though. You know what, though? No belts change hands. Carrying Cross is going to win. Um. This is going to be a five-way cluster mess. If I catch this at the end of the night, I'll probably kind of be doing odd things. So yeah, this will be my snooze match. Um, and I'll make up something. Probably the first match will probably be the match of the night. Those three wrestlers are all talented people. So again, I'd like to thank you for watching. Again, you will be getting your... Thank you videos. I'll probably be doing that live during commercials on Tuesday. Um, little scheduling news and notes. Monday, Monday I work both jobs. That's going to suck. So I probably won't be, so I'm not going to be doing a, a Raw. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea. Because Raw, from what I've heard, is not been good. However, Tuesday, I'll be back to my old ways with Impact live stream. Wednesday, there is no more AEW. It's all switched to weird wonky times. I don't know. I have to figure out the schedule. AEW is just odd. Thursday, I will be able to get some Impact Wrestling in. See a little bit of the aftermath of Against All Odds. And then Friday, will be NXT. will be um, SmackDown. Cool. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And take care, everyone, and hopefully I'll catch you later. I do have to work tonight, so I'm not going to catch all the sh